the entire. Oh, does he call it Ghost of Ajax? <laughs> yeah, he call uh, he calls himself the Ghost of Ajax, but That's as really of right funny. now, it, you who got needs the me. Ghost of Ajax <laughs> when? I used to do that all the time. We have uh, instead uh, Detective days. Devon. Yeah, the Pikachu player. And already we're gonna see like a, a shift in uh, like how things are going with like an immediately six, an immediate sixty damage from stage hazard. We are seeing a difference in the approach from people here early, right? We're seeing a lot more one-two pellets. We're seeing a lot more attempts to get stage hazard uncomfortable getting near these platforms and we're seeing people being willing to take these time bombs low so he doesn't get caught by ledge he forces the greater commitment on the com on the ledge trap from stage hazard and is giving himself extra space to work with to find his way back on the stage still that time is going to run out though players looking to find who can collect that last gym badge, right? Trying to force their way here through that victory road. Make their way to Grand Finals. Are we gonna see another rematch, Devin? Is it gonna be a new challenger finding his way out of the Samus Gauntlet to new light? I'm definitely oh. rooting for Pete Bro, uh, for as mentioned, off air. Uh, I have a win on him, so I wanna have a win on the winner of the tournament. So yeah. I'm gonna show my biases there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would also be really nice to see like a new uh, a new matchup. Uh, I'm really curious on like how that could maybe play out. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, we still have this first set, and like I I forget like how close the games were because like obviously the 3-0 isn't the whole story, uh, but it does look like um, you know Peepers doing a good job of like kind of holding his own. Uh, at least in this set, and you know, might be able to, to you know, sneak out a, a kill, take this lead. He's certainly trying, but here at 119, the margin for error is very thin. And Stage Hazard has been done a very good job at finding these Zares on P both on Pipro and on and earlier on Susano. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they pressure you from the same, from that mid-range, but from a longer mid-range than Mega Man can, while also not acting as a projectile that Mega Man can easily disrupt. It's a really good uh, poke tool in this matchup to find ways in when they are moving and trying to play a little Ooh. bit more aggressively, and so far are uh, we've seen Stage Hazard take full advantage. I really like uh, with Stage Hazard. Kind of just like put himself below Mega Man when he's on the downstate on that platform, me making it that like you can kind of just like kind of track where they're gonna go, especially with like such a lingering move like up air. Yeah, but Pete Bro though able to find a way to close that stock out, and it doesn't matter how pretty it looks or uh, how ugly, because at the end of the day, Devin, a stock is a stock, and people might have a chance back into this one if he can find his way back to stage. But no I'm way. sorry. Good God. We're never going to see the kill screen ever again. Have you ever seen Zara kill before? Um, I have not, but we're going to see it again. Because, whoa. Uh, oh, that was uh, disgusting. So it PS2 is one of the stages that have like a closer mm -hmm. uh, blast zone to ledge ratio. So like similar to town, not not as exaggerated as yep. towns. but And uh, we can actually see it back here as well if we jump on back. Um, you can see it here on on the radar as yeah. well. You can see just how close we are, right? That blue was stage hazard, and you could see, right, going out just how close he already was to the blast zone. Yeah. So, uh, going a little, uh, able to go uh, a little bit deeper because the ledge is literally closer to the blast zone there. And uh, yeah, just getting that little poke. Uh, and honestly, like, Zare, well, obviously not the most knockback. A little bit more than you would think. Like, in previous iterations, it kind of used to always just be like a tap. But now, like, you know, it actually sends you in a direction, which is, you know, uh, already kind of a Take bit, me back. A bit better. Take me back. We live in the darkest yeah. timeline. 
We just saw game into Samus Zeru. What's next? We're gonna see a Mega Man pellet kill screen in this set? Now just it's once again just a full on scrub. I love taking that crash bomber there. Very creative route from Pete Bro. Oh, and he's gonna find the opening, find that reversal to boot, but the overextension gonna cost him stage control and just gonna get caught out by the lingering hitbox brought about by his own projectile. Pete Bro just compounding on the mistakes right now, and this one is starting to get a little bit away from him. Yeah, uh, stage jobs are just really like kind of just laying the damage on and, you know, at already 150% uh, with some sign of slowing down, taking that forward smash to the gut. Yeah, people managing to keep this one relatively close and able to find a well-timed Metal Blade pellet there to at least get stage control, right? Maintaining standard stage with that projectile, but it's gonna just be the defensive patience from Stage Hazard that's allowing in every situation to become contested. Every overextension from Pete Bro has been punished. Right now, he's doing a great job with his juggle, but once again, the overextension, Pete Bro able to find the leaf shield, but still not able to get out of dodge on the skate. Stage Hazard doing a really good job of just like kind of maintaining center to like uh, just control that whole half of the stage. Pro able to reverse it a little bit. Back air. I'm gonna send you all the way across. We got another edge guard situation. By stage hazard. That time Pro trying to use the crash bomber Ooh. hit lag on shield. Able to keep yep. you locked down and find find extra time to get out of dodge on the getup, but it wasn't able to find its mark. Instead, Pe wow. it's gonna be Pro getting P P P P P off the top. I I really like, so hazard. something that Stage Hazard did on the right side of the stage, used uh, the, the charge shot charge just to like turn around to get the, while keeping his jump to do forward air. That was. And then when he uh, sent him all the way across, because, uh, what is it? Because uh, percent were so high, ledge invincibility was like none. So just ran and did the down, uh, the down tilt and just, yeah. That also, was kind of it. what a beautiful reversal situation there from Hebro. Utilizing in, in up smash, the startup of it to get underneath ETH rising neutral air there and then just keep the pressure on going. And the shoulder check not gonna close it out. Jab one as a mix up tool. That one's in the in game tip. So, oh, about as intended as they come. Right now, it's Stage Hazard pulling it out, all, out all of the stocks. He does not want to let this game get away from him, Devin. Okay. Ooh. Oofa boofa. Unfortunately, at, I believe it's 80% the full charge. Our charge shot becomes transcendent, getting caught on the platform with up tilt and stage hazard does not drop those. One game away now from grand finals and the fourth wall break? Hold up. <laughs> Just a little. Wow. Look at uh, Pro's face. My man is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Clip it! <laughs> he knows. He knows what he's doing to his opponent right now. Pro is full in the pits of despair and Stage Hazard is just laughing. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I missed where we're going back. I missed where we're going, if I we're going back. I think we're going back to Peepro's realm of sadness, Devin. All right, so, um, yeah, Stage Hazard's bands uh, have been consistently been Smashville and Hollow Bastion. Uh, and, yeah, so switching it to Battlefield, pretty standard Mega Man. Uh, we saw this earlier uh, as, like, in this matchup. And like you know, mentioned before that like this can work in both characters' favors with like lots of chained up airs from Samus can be really spooky. So it's up to people to kind of uh, avoid that sort of stuff and just like kind of 
keep that control going. It's very difficult. I was gonna say, reminder though that Peepo does get an upside from losing this set, right? If he does lose the set, he is still allowed to enter Xeno Arcadians. Winner of the set does fall into that top two range and becomes barred from the tournament. This Make is true, yeah. And so Sage Hazard competing to never be allowed to come back ever again. If I'm Peepro, I almost lose this game just because I can come see the beautiful faces of Devin and Helper every so often. <laughs> That's something Stage Hazard has been immaculate at, is calling out these up tilts from people. We saw him catch out Mishka with them time and time again, but Stage Hazard is giving him no room to breathe, and is willing to back off, like move to bait them out, and then back off, find the punish on the end leg. Yeah, something that we're seeing is that, like, for for a majority of that, uh, you know, people was kind of like maintaining center and not going anywhere beyond, uh, and uh, kind of. We take Working those? in his favor, because, like, you know, uh, you're in the, the place of uh, least potential energy, right? Yeah. Well, the other one is on, uh, just, like, it's on him to mess up, and he did. Listen, Devin, <laughs> there is an age-old adage right here in the Smash community, regardless of the game. Taunt to get bodied. And uh, we saw the between-games taunt there from Stage Hazard into an unforced error. So a little bit of karma coming in clutch. Now as people are racking on the extra percent, but a charge shot to stuff you out. Metal Blade though, gonna allow that sure you can up tilt to find its mark. And Stage Hazard laughing, he knows that maybe he bit off a little bit more than he could chew with that preemptive celebration. Is this the first time we've seen Peepro with like a really solid lead? Yep, this is the first time we've seen him with a stock lead in either of his sets, in, of his sets versus Stage Hazard. Okay, so. Whatever Peepro is doing, it's beginning to work. Uh, although, you know, with the work context of, uh, you know, with the context that, you know, Stage kind of like handed that first stock, and, you know, once you're playing uh, from a lead position, mm -hmm. it can be a little bit, yeah. uh, it's a different game plan. I was gonna say, what, what Peepro has done is let Stage Hazard SD and then take the reins from there of being able to force Samus to approach him for the first yeah. time. Which something, again, that Samus struggles with because her weakness is in that mid range. She's really good at keeping you out and then boxing with you when you do make your way in. But once she has to actually approach you herself, she gets stuffed out in a range where she just has weaker hitboxes to swing at you with. The wibbly wobbly there of the pellets going a little pew pew as it's somehow peep bro. Staying alive, holding on to the second stock, knowing that a last hit could easily be it the way Stage Hazard has locked it down time and time again. People, though, finally getting out of ledge scot free. That's also the first time we've seen that one in two sets, Devin. And I, don't, I think it is adjustments here as well as finally playing for the lead, right? We are seeing him start to figure out some of these ledge traps that Stage Hazard is looking for. Yeah, I, we're going to really see, like, how much the... Oh, that's going to be it. Yep, Samus is super tall, where normally that could be, like, mm -hmm. potentially a mix-up versus other characters. Uh, Samus, not so much. And he's been so oh, scared boy. of, like, conditioned away from even looking for grabs because of how willing Stage Hazard has been to just pull weird options that oh, that okay. time he went for the up tilt and Stage Hazard just took it before finding the punish. Pro kind of... Taking a lot of damage, so like Sage kind of has brought this all the way back because you know Sage is already past the point of like oh like the the good hit will like get a kill. Oh I like that using the the charge to turn yourself around for readying that back air. Okay. Well, the crash bomber just barely missing his mark, but it is gonna force Sage down the ledge right give people that extra attempt. But now he's getting himself caught in the blender once again. <gasps> this is where, where you've seen the attempt, but the pellet somehow sneaking his way in Devin, okay. and he held on by the skin of his teeth. People over there, you saw the side, he knows he got away with one. But he is on the board. Yeah, first time uh in this tournament. 
for Pete Bro, uh, taking a game off of uh, Stage Hazard. Like, that single pellet fading back the first couple hits was so good, calling out the jump as well. And that jump is one that Pete Bro has had read for two sets now. It's that every single time you see on his approaches, Stage Hazard start to autopilot. And this is the one thing he's autopiloted on consistently here in top eight has been his forward airs. He will short hop rising forward air approach every single time when he's far away. He will throw out Zara or charge shot and then he will short hop fair, full send the approach every single time. Okay, so uh, Pete Bro's bands were FD and Smashville. Mm -hmm. See, this is one of the one of those times where like, you know, I, I understand that it might be a bluff, but you know, Stage Hazard's been consistently getting rid of Smashville and Hollow Bastion. Mm -hmm. So like, don't waste one of your bands on the stage that your opponent was banning. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but regardless, uh, so F uh, uh, Kalos as the counter pick for Stage Hazard. Um, I get it, you know, big blast zone, uh, wide open like space, it. but I know, don't like it at all. Mega Man can really take advantage of some stuff on this stage, mm -hmm. being like, you know, you can't go under the stage, so now down air is a lot more of a threat. And like, yeah, Peepro is beginning oh. to just like take control. It's so like before, where we saw Stage Hazard uh, kind of like gifted that, that first stock, which put Pipro in an advantageous position, being like, oh, okay, maybe we won't see that sort of comeback in the next game because that was kind of handed. Now we're seeing the exact opposite, where it's just like, yeah, this time Pipro straight up took that. And, yeah, and, yeah. Th so, and this stage as well, right? This stage and FD, generally two of Mega Man's best stages, but this stage as well, having walls, right? Allowing you to line up those hard knuckles, set up more flexibility with Crash Bomber for stalls, to fight, to catch your opponent out, to get out of the same as his ledge trap situations, as well as those high platforms, which Mega Man's recovery flexibility gives him Ooh. impeccable Ooh. tools to use. It can be really hard for Samus to find the openings, especially when so much of Stage Hazard's advantage state over people has been in these juggle situations, right? It's so hard to juggle your opponent here on Kalos, and people has taken full advantage early on. So uh, it was beginning to look like, you know, Pipro was going to have a two-stock lead at 30%, but Stage Hazard has begun to, uh, like, has begun to, like, adapt and, like, change on how his approach is going. So now, you know, Pipro still needs to seal out this stock to, like, keep that lead going. Wow. I love the dash attack. Yeah, and that move does not have a hitbox on the back of it either, Devin. So he was betting it all on that DI from Sage Hazard, able to find it and close it down, but here at 130, exactly 100% more than he was expecting just a minute ago. How much extra credit can he find here before Stage Hazard inevitably finds his way to lock this stock down? I think Mega Man like has like does such a good job of like mm -hmm. covering the platform above the ledge. Yeah, uh, I agree. Know, with both like forward air and up air, uh, and you know, just like the general Mega Man like edge guard situation, you know, we're really seeing uh, Samus get a taste of it. I think this is Mega Man's best stage by a pretty wide margin. Yeah, and we're seeing why here early on. You have that open center stage for Mega Man to find his juggles, right? To find his pressure, to find his combos. Ooh. But then he also is so good at lead trapping, <gasps> at getting those vertical lead traps down with hard knuckle, but also up, as you mentioned, on that platform, Devin. Back air controls the space in between very well. But we are seeing stage hazards uh -oh. start to move around a little bit. And now off stage, this could spell a problem if he bro can't get down. Uh, not a big fan of that getup attack no. there. He got caught swinging there, right? He was just trying to end it. Uh -oh. But Stage Hazard hasn't shown the over that overaggression. That getup attack wow. worked earlier on on Mishka, but won't work there. And now it's getting called out just like that, Devin. Stage Hazard's finding his way back into this game. Absolutely. If, uh, if Stage Hazard takes this stock, then, you know. I would be scared for people. Yeah. Because, like, we're seeing just, like, you know. Uh, Stage Hazard's kind of adjusted to like how P Pro was playing. Like we're seeing like a new confidence on P Pro from like taking that previous game, and so you know playing with that. Uh, but you know, could it? 
No, that's not. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's not gonna do it on Kalos. Not from mid stage, finding his way out of dodge once again, oh, going it. high instead of crash bombing low. I really like that okay. for exactly the situation, Devin. We just saw. But you crash bomber low. If your opponent makes it back, it lets you get out of the ledge trap. But what you risk is if they come up short, they're able to drift into the Crash Bomber and survive. And so Pete Bro said, okay, I'm going to risk getting juggled here because I have that extra stock to work with. I don't want to give you that extra chance to make your way back. And that early up special is exact means that the Crash Bomber is exactly what Stage Hazard was betting on there. All right, so we're going to Battlefield. And uh, yeah, this uh, this record, this uh, stage has not been very beneficial for people at all in these two sets so far. Can he finally find the game he needs on what? In set number one, was his perennial counter pick? So, like we saw that even though people won the last time they were on the stage. This is when we, we saw that, that kind of SD, mm -hmm. which like kind of set Pebro in motion to be able to play from a lead. So, you know, Sage uh, Hydra being like, we can go back. I'm, I'm going to not do that. I will and say, we'll see how you fare. that Crash Bomber was the first time we've seen him place that one at ledge in that position the whole time. The early Spring Dog using his way to rush it out of dodge, keep himself Ooh. on the board, and taking the Metal Blade hit to give himself the extra flexibility to avoid a charge shot, which he then is able to. Devin, and really, we're just seeing Peeper's defensive play, his ability to weave through this maze of projectiles, yeah. really wow. level up, and somehow not, is not held enough, onto though. his jump and still, Ooh. wow. What a route back. Leaf Shield actually helping Sam, uh, help Peeper out against Samus's grab, but, uh, all right, so Stage Hazard, you know, this is a familiar position that we've seen. Uh, Pebro needs to take this stock uh, to try and get, you know, how he was playing before. He's Ooh. able to do so, but only the sour Ooh. spot sure you can there. Gonna give Stage Hazard one last shot to hold on here. The one-two pellets, people are opting for the Metal Blade to continue the lead trap instead of trying to line up a hard knuckle, and it's gonna be Stage Hazard making him pay. He can't find a way to close this out at 191, and he's struggling, and every second you let take off the clock is another ounce of psychic that damage crap. that Sage Hazard is doing. Sam was at 200%. Wow, that just going for it. Pebro needs to take out the stock soon. Uh, 60 damage, not the worst position if he's able to take the stock, mm -hmm. but it's got to happen. Uh, any more, uh, then we're going to be in, like, in kind of a very solid lead position. We are approaching the fabled double max range territory, <laughs> Devin. Are we going to get there before Pete Broke can close the stock out? Respecting the range of what Trout Shot covers. Oh, yeah. Okay, see, like, now, now we're at a spot where... Yeah, this is starting to get out of hand. Yeah, if, if Pebro takes a take stock, now still has his work cut out for him. Wow, and the Spring Dog, Devin, just slightly late. Eight, Stage Hazard, able to delay, or slightly early, I should say. Stage Hazard then able to wait and drop <gasps> off, find his way away, and not lose the iframes like Pebro extended. He was trying to get a little bit of a cheeky advantage stay early, and instead loses his stock. Now with one left in the tournament, back against the wall, what can he make happen when push comes to shove? Okay. I think I think this might be it for uh, for Pete, bro. Uh, Sage Hazard has definitely found like a comfort zone, and uh, you know you can kind of tell with like how Stage Hazard is playing uh, when he's like feeling confident. He'll like go for like some silly stuff or like extra like nice like you know. Be reverse turn. Uh, be reverse to like turn around for back air and stuff like that. Or like. Oh, that metal blade, the forward air, Devin. This advantage state can be huge for people. If he locks this one down, he is not out of this Ooh. one yet. The Shoryuken gonna find its sour spot. There is a perfect X factor nice. to get out of the scrap, but he's still not able to reset. Devin, people's pressure Ooh. has been relentless. He is trying to make this ground up. When did you say that Mega Man's uh, forward smash becomes? 
intangible? Oh no, I was talking about uh, not not Mega Man. I was talking about Samus ah, charge okay. shot. I see. Of the other charge shot. Okay. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was talking about the one named charge shot, not yeah. the charge shot. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that that. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking about these the two blue projectiles before I say what I said before. Okay. People with that spring dog was super smart. If you found that crash bomber, that actually could have comboed into it. I like taking the timer there. Mm -hmm. Bomb there somehow finding his way out of the corner. Devin, he is actually cooking Th right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, stage hazard might have gone a little bit too comfortable. Pipro he playing. He's playing. making like Icarus. He may have flown too close to the sun. Okay. He God. found the Crash Bomber Sticky too, so he's gonna get out. Looking with the up smash, Devin, he wants to end it. He knows he has max rage. Age. That is really Pete Rose's advantage state here. His buttons are gonna kill earlier than some Whoa. of the stage has his arc. He's got him in the corner too, no jump. Somehow finds his way back to ledge Whoa. and onto stage, so the resources are fresh. Stage Hazard can only scrap just to get in, and people are able to go high. I, he's gotten so scared of backing off. <laughs> the charge shot! What is even happening right now? Is That's that it. it? That's it. No. no! He's a big boy! He made a medal. <laughs> what is even going on? No! Not that way! Oh. Uh... Unfortunate. No! It was so good! <laughs> And at the end of the day, the pressure just got to him. Our hero came up just a little bit short, but what a show, Devin. What yeah, a way to end it. Good God. Coming down to the wire. Pebro really almost brought that up. Oh, did I miss the thing? Oh no, I think I, I didn't get the, the kill. Yeah, this was uh, this was the stock that kind of like set everything in motion. But uh, yeah, good God. <laughs> How's it going? Sorry. I can't say ready cams because I'm on air. You, yeah, you caught me <laughs> mid yawn. Yeah. What, what are you doing? This man <laughs> is coming for me. All He's right. coming for me. So next up is Grand Finals. We're going to see a rematch from uh, Stage Hazard. I just need to stop talking. <laughs> Devin, I'm saying so many things. I'm going to.